into the house of Israel. Con, that's what we're doing, getting to the, you know, to the children of Israel, man. Go ahead. Con, you know, you go back to what we tell you, man. Repent. Repent while you got time. While that door is still cracked open, that Noah Ark door is still cracked open. That mercy is still cracked open because that door is shutting. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, brother. Hey, Con, that, that goes into perfect what you were saying. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 3. It says, For thus saith the Lord concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this yeah. place, and concerning their mothers that bear them, and concerning their fathers that begat them in this land, they shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their carcasses shall be for meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. And ultimately, man, this, this is what's going to happen to a lot of you Israelites, man. All right, who knew the Lord's will, but prepared yourself. Now you're going to be beat with many stripes. All right, and this is why it's known the terror of the Lord. We persuade men. All right, because we understand what the Lord's about to do, and we see what he's doing now. And it's only going to, the Lord's going to continue to increase his hand, man. It says, uh, verse 5, For thus saith the Lord, uh, Enter not into the house of mourning, neither go to the mint, nor bemoan them. For I have taken away my peace from this people, saith the Lord, even loving kindness and mercies. The Lord's about to, that's why scripture say, think upon the time of wrath, when, when the Most High shall turn away his face, man. We're supposed to think upon that time because, hey, at the end of the day, that's what time we're coming into. And if you don't want to be subject to one of the infinite amounts of judgments the Lord can send on you, then it will behoove you to move accordingly, man. All right, according to what the word of the Lord says, you know. And I got, well, I got one more. Go ahead, brother. Because you also said, too, the Lord, you know, is, is, is letting you people know that he's uh, visiting this place, man. Like it says, the Lord is knowing the judgment which he executeth. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 16 and 21. It says, therefore, behold, I will this once cause them to know. I will cause them to know my hand and my might, and they shall know that my name is the Lord. And that's what the Lord is doing right now, man. You see, the prophets are out here telling you that this is the doing of the Lord, but you people still are blinded. Why right? you continue to go about your folly, you know? And that was the point on that, bro. Huh, so you know, y'all, as the brother said, you're going on in your folly, and you're going in with your party and your bull crap, and you're thinking nothing's gonna happen to you. Because most of y'all are saying, well, it wasn't me, that's way over there. It's, it's not affecting me, but sooner, sooner than later, it's about to affect you. That's not the mindset to have, it's, it, it's not on you. As the brother saying, hey, think about that if that was your son, your daughter with her hand sticking out in that rubble, how would, how would you feel? You know, Babylon, Babylon here is, it's, how can you say, it's, it's a selfish place. It's only about me, 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 me. But guess what? That you, you, you about to get buried too and burnt up. <laughs> it is what it is. I think the brother talked about uh, <laughs> earlier about this place going to be uh, uh, destroyed by fire. What is that? Second Peter 3 and 7? By those nukes. So that time is coming. But as of right now, you seeing the hand of your Yahweh Shah shake up the world, getting it ready, you know? Can I get that? I don't know, brother, that piece if I get this. Go ahead. Uh, can I go hold it? Uh, look, this is uh, Luke 13 and uh, 4. It says, For those 18 upon whom the tower of Silo fell and slew them, think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you, no. God. But except ye repent, ye shall likewise perish. Man. There you go. You shall likewise perish. You go, hey, you gonna go out. Hey, you go out the same way, or even worse. You man, you gotta understand something. Your Bash Miyasha knows our worst fears. You know, right. you sit back and think about that for a minute. Your worst fears that your friend, your mama, or whoever don't know about you that know. Your Bash Miyasha know. You know how, how easy right. that is to take you out in your worst field, uh, fear. Like I said earlier, man. At the end of the day, y'all about to meet Allah shot you. Something y'all forgotten about it. And, he, and he's aching to show y'all, hey, I'm back, baby. You know what I'm saying? He never left, but he's letting y'all know. At the end of the day, these are the things that's going to be happening. And they're happening now before it just, like what do you call it, like a snowball effect. It's just getting bigger and bigger. And, and to that day, a full judgment. Right. Matter of fact, can you get there, Bob? Push out. Go ahead. I'll. I got one. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 9. And uh, <clears throat> we'll start at, um, at 16. It says, Yahweh. By Shimei Ashai is known by the judgment which he executed. Woo. You know, and, and uh, <clears throat> just if I may speak on, uh, you know, what happened over there in Turkey and, you know, and even at the tower that the brother was speaking upon, you know, you don't even have to be that much of a sinner and the Lord will judge you. The Lord can do anything he wants. At any time that a law was broken, a judgment can go out. 
See, but, but it's by it's, it's the Lord's compassions that we're not destroyed day by you. day. But if I may say, um, you know, get it, get it. the Lord is known by by the by the judgment. You know, when things happen, you know, some some people that are not even that are not in the in the truth, they'll say, "Oh my God," you know, like Luke. They, they know that, that that had to have been from a higher power because of the circumstances that they went down. You see, and and, and that's coming upon the earth like famine, okay, pestilences, you know. And, and, and all the things the scripture talks about the, the third world's war all these things are going to happen and people are going to know that there's there's a there's a most high and there's there's a, there's a savior because they're going to be calling on him mm -hmm. all right but let me run this back real quick it says um psalms 916 says yahweh was known by the judgment which he executed the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands so all the wicked are gonna they're, they're gonna be trapped by, by by their doings man that's all that's what we're saying you know, through the spirit, you know, you hear this word, hey, do, do what you got to do to repent, you know, Go, you know, come back to you, how, why you, how shy, all right, it says the wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget the most high, so, look at the heathen right now in Turkey, okay, they're turned into hell, they're, you know, the life is, life is hell right now, right, go ahead, brother. And also, so you think about it, what did Yahweh Bashmiah say too, they'll call on me, and I will not answer. Y'all understand how serious that is? He tells his prophets, do not even pray for them. Do you understand how serious that is? Don't pray for these people, because I'm not gonna hear it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here, I'm not here to hear all that. I'm here to take them out. You know what I'm saying? Go and get your priest up out the next I'll get a quick one, you know, because you know that this is this is just a reminder too to us, man, that hey, all praise to how about Shimmy Habashai, man, that we have this truth and we have the the ability to, you know, maneuver ourselves in, in wisdom in these dark times, man. Okay, because right here in uh, Lamentations, the third chapter, the brother quoted the script, so I'll, I'll read it a little bit right here. I'll start at verse, uh, verse 17. And thou hast removed my soul far off from peace, I forgot prosperity. And I said, my strength and my hope is perished from the Lord, remembering my affliction and my misery, the wormwood and the gale. My soul hath them, my soul hath them still in remembrance and is humble in me, all right? So when we see things like this happening, man, it should humble you, man. It should make you think and consider what you're involved in, right? What we're all involved in, Yeah. you know? Because, you know, we're dealing with a power, man, that, that is Yahweh. You know, he is, man, the yeah. existing one, all right? The, 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 you know, how else can I, you know? It's Yahweh, man, the creator of everything, mm -hmm. all right? That's the power we're employed by, man, all right? So it says... But if I may make a point on what you said, because the brother, uh, I think it was Gabar, uh, brought out in Ecclesiastes that because of a, a, a work, um, yeah. roughly yeah. paraphrasing, because of, because of, uh, a judgment... Against against evil do is not executed. Right, yeah. it is fully, it was fully in the mind of men to commit evil. See, they don't understand that the Lord, you know, he, you know, if you're alive one day, hey, man, that's that's because the Lord wants you to be alive one day. A lot of people don't, don't understand that. You see what I'm saying? So you, you really got to tread lightly because this is the place of judgment. And at any time, the Heavenly Father can say, you know what? Time to punch that ticket. Why? Yep. Because he wants to. You see? I'll finish. It says, this I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. And we hope that, you know, by doing the works that we do, man, being out here, you know, presenting our bodies a living sacrifice, that it's enough for the Lord to overpass us mm -hmm. or pass over us when he brings that, that, that judgment once again, man. You know? So it says, uh, verse 22, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not, man. And that's what I thought about when that shit happened, man. I'm like, God damn shit. You know? It could, it could, it could happen here, man. And, and if you're not right with the Heavenly Father, man, you could be one of those casualties. Hey, there's you, a brother who does lessons uh, in the Turkish tongue, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. So you got people out there that know yeah. the truth. You probably got people out there, yeah. family member. You probably got a lot of people that, that, that are in the truth, man. Right? Mm -hmm. There's Israelites all over the world. Yep. You know, how about that? Scattered everywhere. You know, scattered all over the, the four corners of the earth into the into the into the islands. You know, so I mean judgment judgment's going out, the word is going out. You know, we're we're in the latter days, man. You know? It tells you that in uh second Ezra, the ninth chapter, measure thou thou the times diligently. And that's why when we see these things, you know, the scriptures spake about these things from the beginning, that, that they would happen. Especially in the in the uh the increasing rate that has been happening as of late, you know, the whole the whole number 19 right there. If that didn't wake people up, where you went outside and the whole thing was on lock, that was of the most high. It wasn't of Esau. It wasn't, you know what I mean? Although we know, you know, that the, the GOV was involved, right? But, you know, ultimately, who set up Esau? Who set up the white man? You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. He is the wicked. You see? 
he, he's doing what the Heavenly Father commissioned to do. And that's what? That's to be the sword of the Heavenly Father. He's the sword of the Lord. That means what? He's the, he, he, he is, you know, the, the, he's death, you know, in a sense. If you think about it, man, if, uh, uh, for those who are reserved for destruction, once the, the grace period ends, right? You have your own personalized hell coming for you, man. Like the brother was saying earlier, he's going to bring your fear to you, man. The Book of Wisdom of Solomon tells you according to your own imagination, man. There you go. You yeah. mind if I grab this real yeah, quick, brother? It's uh, uh, Matthew uh, 18 and verse uh, 9. It says, and if I, if an eye offend thee, and it, this scripture came to mind when the brother Hassan was saying, do what you got to do to repent, man. Right? He's saying, if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life with one eye rather than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. So, so cut, you got to cut off whatever the hell. I mean, it's not saying actually pull your eye out, right? But the analogy is for you to you to cut off whatever the hell it is, man. It's better for you to walk in there just barely yeah. limping yeah. past the gate, right? Than to right. than to than to end right there, man. <laughs> yeah. It was a Bruce Lee quote, my bad. It was a Bruce Lee quote that, that said what Bruce Lee said. Uh, it was a uh, shed the unnecessary, something to that effect, you know? Because, you know, sometimes you got shit going on that, you know, just slowing you down, man. You know, too much baggage. It could be a family member, it could be work. And the Lord's making it evident right now, bro, you know? Because even my personal walk, you know, I start seeing shit like, okay, well, I could limit this, I could limit that. And you, you once you do it, you see the, the growth that comes with it, man. Why? It's discipline, man. Yeah. Just because you say, uh, a soul that has no discipline, wisdom fleeth it, man. Yep. You know, ain't gonna uh, uh, dwell with that, you know? You gotta apply it, man. And it, it, it cuts me first and foremost, man. I'll say that. You know, but this is this is what this truth is about, man. Cutting and and, 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 and so that it may heal, you know? And, and you got those battle scars on you, man. You know, but th this is what this truth is all about, man. This is what the the... the the man that came before us told us about man that hey you're gonna come to serve the Lord prepare thyself for temptation you know prefer prepare to to lose shit man okay and you know Lord willing we be we be of those uh, delivered men man you know you know at the end of the day you prepare to lose it to gain it all back in the kingdom exactly, bro. so and you sit back and you think about it in this world what are you really losing nothing because it's all garbage anyway it's all uh, 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 what's that uh, back vanity and, Va vanity and vexation but what a that's all this is. So really, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Even our lives, when you sit back and think about it, you know, you sit back and just think about what we go through and whatnot. Even our lives is vanity and vexation. It's, it's, it's nonsense. We all can't wait to be in the kingdom at the end of the day, you know? Your brother have a piece of other one? Yeah, kind of quick oh, one. Go ahead. It's uh, okay. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 29. And everyone that hath forsaken houses mm -hmm. or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and Beautiful. shall inherit at, uh, everlasting life see and that's the mentality we got to be in man and it's going to be a lot more in the times to come because this devil is going to take everything away man he's going to set up a new system a new way to live and if you don't want to conform to that you're going to be severely punished and or put to death and in our mind man you know world's going to be ready for that man because you know because we because we want to be in the kingdom man yep and we understand that we have to go through it to get to it. So we have to, as the scriptures say, man, uh, Revelation, the second chapter, fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer. Right? So we have to be in the mentality of already having it in our mind that all this thing, all everything we got is already burnt up, man. Yo, count right? as done. Everything's already burnt up. And Lord willing, you know, we make it out of here. But that's the mentality we got to be. Lord willing, we make it, we'll get a hundredfold and eternal life. No, nothing on this side can offer that to you, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. <laughs> this is uh, 1 Peter 2 and 9. It says, But ye are a chosen generation, mm. a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praise of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And that's us, man. We're showing our, the praise into our power by delivering us out of this mass darkness, man. The brothers are delivering light, you know, speaking this holy word, which is absolutely necessary, man. That's a... Uh, you know, every brother can account to that, man. It's uh, one more. It's uh, Luke 21, 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. And a lot of things are coming to pass. Like we're talking about the earthquakes and tsunamis, tsunamis, and the tsunamis, and other things that's going on in the world. These are signs of Yahweh Shai returning, man. So all these things are coming to pass. It says, and to stand before the Son of Man. 
So we got uh, got a long road ahead of us still, man. So it's important to, to take heed to this wisdom. All right. And you know, a beautiful thing that you're saying too. Now, and uh, I've noticed that the uh, elders and apostles have been pushing this prayer, pray more. And that's a beautiful thing to, to keep pushing for all of us. Pray more, pray, pray more. And that's including myself. Pray yeah, pray without ceasing. You know, and, 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 and hey, take take that take that really, and re and really get to it. And, I, and like I said, earlier, that includes myself, but also you brother Peace of Okay, go on. This is uh, James five and seven. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and hath long patience for it, until he received the early and latter rain. And that's what we have. To, that's the spirit we have to have, right? A spirit of long suffering, endurance. It says, be ye also patient, establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh, man. That's right. And this is the, this is the time that we're supposed to do it. There's a scripture in Peter that talks about uh, girding the loins of thy mind. Okay? Because that's the time that we're in. It, the Lord's requiring that. Okay? Because when you know, going back to the ancient practice of girding thy loins, it, it was done when you had to, when you needed more agility, more uh, ability to move around, man. And that's ultimately what we have to do right now in these latter days. We have to consider everything. Well, what was that? Uh, be not ignorant in, in, in a, a big a matter or a small matter. All right. So it says, "Grudge not against one another, brethren, lest ye be condemned." Behold, the judge standeth before the door. Take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord, for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. Behold, we count them happy which endure. And this is the point I wanted to make. Ye have heard of the patience of Job. And have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy, man. And remember, Job got taken everything, everything he had. You know, but like the brother said, uh, it was given back to him, uh, you know, sevenfold or twofold or threefold, whatever it was, you know. So, you know, that's that's the hope that we have, man, that we're losing stuff, but we're going to get it back just like the brother said, man. Uh, so when you go back and think about it, we know we're going to get it back. Because what do we know about Yahweh Bashmi Shah? He's not a man that he should lie. So we know he's gonna give everything back. He gonna he gonna do he gonna do it grand style, you know. Well, we it, it, even we can't even fathom what he's really gonna do. We know a little bit of it, like all right, we know we can understand, like all right, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a kingdom, we're gonna have this, we're gonna have that. But we don't know how grand it's gonna really be, you know. But nevertheless, that's gonna be beautiful. But let me get back to the yeah, the priest up far going. Can I get to that Luke? Come on, push on. Yeah, go on. It's uh, the book of Luke, chapter twenty-one and verse eleven. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. Uh, and this is the things that you see now. I know we're going back on Turkey and whatnot. Besides Turkey, there are other places. Uh, uh, a couple of years back when the volcano went off, and them people out there in, the, in, them, in them islands had to get on their little boats and get out to the ocean or get back to where they have to go. Let you know once again that Yahweh Hashemah Shai is visiting this earth, and he continues to keep visiting also, other places, we can, we, hey, we having droughts. Place, a lot of places are have, have no water. No people are really paying attention to the water, especially here in Arizona. Water, hey, water is leaving. Water is leaving here, topping up other places. You know, just letting you know really what's going on. And brother, can you give me the, um, Isaiah 29, I mean, 29 and 6? Bob Pusha. I got you. Isaiah, the book, it's like the book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and uh, verse 6. It says, uh, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. So once again, this is brother brother about our early, but it came out again, letting you know this is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah that is doing this. Now many people may on the back of the account might be saying, Well, wait a minute, we seen harp and this and that. Who allows harp to work? When these devils are turning knobs and doing stuff, who's allowing the the the, uh, uh, the clouds and all the things to happen. Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. Even though we see the devil do what he do, and as the brother brought out earlier, this devil is who? It's Esau, which is who? Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah's sword, his whooping stick, his beating stick. You know, it, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. That's true. Like, behold, I had created the Smith that brought the coast. Mm -hmm. You huh? know, that's the missiles, the ICBMs, the nuclear missiles, but. The Lord also gave him all these other technologies that he's using, man. Because yeah, there was there was videos of like you know storms and shit right before the earthquake hit. You know that people were yeah, uh, tracking and shit, like purple. blue lights and all that. You know, so hey, he might have you know he might have used that to 
fuck with Turkey, man, because there's a lot of uh, situation going on with NATO and all that. You know, and Turkey wasn't really uh, supporting, you know, uh, 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 the, the sanctions against Russia, man. So, you know, there's many different things that you could use. Of, you know, we don't have the concrete evidence, man, but at the end of the day, it, it, it's a, it's a, a Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai bringing great death, man, to that place, you know? Uh, what what great. you got to understand, man, is all we are is vessels, man. Mm -hmm. Esau, Jacob, right? All flesh is nothing but the vessels of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. The brothers talk about Esau being his uh, 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 whooping stick. So you got to imagine, man, if you're creating your own villain, right, you're going to create him the perfect villain according to your mind. You're going to give him, you might even give him a cape, some some crazy looking steel toe pointy boots with knives on them or something. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, this devil, the most high, created according to his mind. He created the perfect being to be that whooping stick, man. And he wielded not the sword in vain as a material. And these are the and these are the things that's taking place. Brother, give me uh, if no one has a precept, let me get Isaiah 19 and 5, and I'll talk about the water. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 19, and uh, verse 5. It says, and the waters shall fail from the sea, and the river shall be wasted and dried up. And that's and that's just what's happening right now. Also, too, I thought I brought out earlier about since we you know we're coming to World War III. Has anybody paid attention to uh, the Euphrates River lately? Uh, hey, that place is drying up. Many places on there you can walk across. When at one point you couldn't walk across that. That water is drying up quick. So it's letting you know World War III. It will be coming soon. Of course, we know the market of beast got to come first. But letting you know, Yahweh Bashem Shah is doing these different works, little by little. Letting the prophet see, look, I'm doing this over here. I'm doing this over there. Pay attention. Look at all the things that I'm doing. I'm mean, going to give the warning, kind. And what are we out here? We out here blowing them horns. We out here blowing the, uh, 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 them horns. Giving that warning. Day in, day out, brothers on YouTube, brothers around the world. They said the brothers in Turkey. You know, giving, giving the warning. And, and, and you know, Lord willing, I'm sure them hopefully them brothers are okay. I believe they are. They are alright. They gave that warning and stood back and watched stuff fall. You know, it is what it is. Go ahead, I'm just going back to the brothers, you know, was talking about uh, you know how the Lord basically is in control of all flesh. Uh this is uh Jeremiah 32 and 27. It says, Behold, I am the Lord Yahweh, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? You know, and um Real quick, I want to grab this too, okay? Because your Habashim Hashai controls all flesh, man. All flesh belongs to your Habashim Hashai, and he is in full control of everything that we see play out on this earth. Whether or not it's Esau, Edom, that's behind it, that's behind an event, and he's using artificial means by you know to, to create certain disasters. It doesn't matter because your Habashim Hashai is the one that gave him the technology and the power that Esau, Edom has, okay? over this earth right now is not of his own power real quick this is daniel 8 and 24 it says uh and his power shall be mighty but not by his own power all right and what that means is that that he hey, he saw edom didn't get put in a position or, or get to the position that he's in where he got this this, this uh stranglehold over the earth because he's some great mighty man he got that position because yahabashim haoshai allowed him to have that position Yahweh Bashim Shai set him up to be in that position to serve a certain purpose in the Lord's story. You see? So it says, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power, and he shall destroy wonderfully, and he shall prosper. And that's what we're seeing, and that's why this devil is lifted up with pride, man. It says, and practice, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people, man, which he has done. And the Lord is going to come back and give him a recompense for that, man. But at the end of the day, we... We are in fear of this devil and what he's bringing up on the earth and what he's doing, man, because we know that Yahweh Shimi Shai is in full control. So as long as we keep our fear in the Lord, okay, and we remain obedient, okay, then, hey, Lord willing, we're going to have a hedge in that day, man. As the Lord continues to bring forth these disasters like the brother is bringing out and, and bring forth these calamities and these mass death events, and as they continue to escalate, man, you know, we, we, we believe you know, through our works and through our faith and our belief in Yahweh Hashim Shai, man, that we're gonna be protected, man. You know, we're gonna be on the winning side of this thing, and we're not gonna be of those that get caught out there and lose. Sure. All right, Khan, this is uh, the book of Psalms, uh, chapter 17. So, like in verse 13. Uh, so, I get it. It's loaded up stuff. 
Let's well, back up to Brother Barzal, man, because he said, uh, you know, the wicked is part of our concern. But this is, this is exactly what it says in the scriptures. Psalm 17 and 13, it says, Arise, O Lord. No, start there. Verse 14. Thirteen, yeah. Oh yeah, you, the water, brother. It says, "Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword." So we're asking for the deliverance of our soul from the wicked. You know, because right. you know, only Father ultimately uh, controls that. I just want to back that, brother. Up. Okay. Okay. Uh, this uh, Revelation uh, nine and uh, fourteen. It says, because the brother was mentioning the river Euphrates drying up. It says, saying this uh, to the sixth angel which had the trumpet loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. That's right. right. We're just showing you, man, that, you know, the heavenly father has these, these uh, uh, angels, right? These apparitions prepared to judge, man. Uh -huh. And, and, and in particularly, out there in the river Euphrates, man. So we, 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 we're keeping our eyes fastened on that uh, uh, part of the land, man. Yep. And it said the third part of man. Who's the third part of man? The, the, the wicked, man. Mm -hmm. you, know, you got the sons of the Most High, the sons of man, and the sons of the wicked. Mm -hmm. you know, so Esau, man, hey, this is your end. You know what we're seeing unfold on the earth? is the end of the Edomites, man. So, That's know, right. Esau's the end of this world. Well, and, and Jacob, Jacob is the beginning, beginning of that fall. That's it, bro. I got a quick one. Uh, this is Psalm 68 and 20. It says, he that is our power is the power of salvation, and unto the Most High, the Lord, belongeth the issues from death. God. So let you know, hey, man, this is the time that we live in is the time to get right, the time to repent, the time to really be paying attention to what's going on around the world, paying attention to your, I mean, paying attention to your surroundings, especially, as I said earlier, is repenting and getting close to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, because, hey, that judgment is going out, number one, and, and sooner and later, He's going to be wrapping this place up, and you don't want to burn with this place. Do any brothers have any precepts before we close out? I got one. Oh, go ahead. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 11 and 7. It says, By faith, Noah, being warned of the Most High of things not seen as yet. You see? Mm -hmm. And that's what the prophets, they're going to warn too of the things, okay, that, that are not yet. All right? Things that are not seen. Okay? And, and, and see, these warnings, they come from the Most High. But see... You got to understand that, you know, Jake is, is, you know, is a rebellious people. You see what I'm saying? Jake, Jake, Jake is, you know what I'm saying? They're going to push you off and they're going to write you off as this, that, and the, you, you crazy. You know, you, you this, that, and the third. But, 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 but see, Jake can't see it, man. Jake can't see it because they, they don't want to hear, you know, something that, 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 that basically they didn't see. Well, I didn't see that or I didn't, I, I, you know, you know, and that, that's how, that's how Jake is, man. You know, there, there, there's a rebellious spirit going around instead of just, you know, humbling yourself and listening to the prophets and hearing, you know what I'm saying, that the men that, that were set up, you know what I'm saying, you know, and we say that with humility, bro. We say it with all humility, man. But but Jake don't see that. They see men as, it's just, oh, that's just, that's just a man. Oh, he, he ain't nobody, they, they, you know. But let somebody else come and tickle your ear and, oh, yeah, yeah that's my guy. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it doesn't work like that, man. It, 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 does, it just does not work like that, man. This is by faith Noah being warned of the most high of things not seen as yet. See, in the men of the Lord, they, they, they see things and they're going to warn you things before they happen down the line. But if Jake don't want to hear it, you know, ah, nah. I, I'm only concerned about right now. What, what's going to benefit me right now? No, no. Mm -hmm. well, man, the scriptures call the prophet seers, man. They perceive shit years down the line. But what do they do? They push you off to the side. No, nah, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear this. Or whoever can tickle their ear. Yeah, okay, cool. Those the men, those the men that I'm gonna listen to. You see what I'm saying? It says, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, man. You see, we're gonna prepare an ark. We're gonna build. We're gonna build, man. Whether people like it or not, we're gonna build according to the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. We're gonna build. You see? And those that are that want salvation and want to hear, they're gonna come. They're gonna understand. They're gonna see eye to eye. There ain't gonna be no no this, that, and you know, none of that. No, no, no. The, the, Hey, you know the, the whole election. They're gonna they're gonna see eye to eye, man. They ain't gonna be none of this, you know, rebellious bakering type bullshit. It ain't gonna be none of that shit, man. You see what I'm saying? This is by the which he condemned the world, right? And the prophets are basically condemning the world. They're condemning what they see out here, man. It says, 
and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. It's all by faith, man. The just shall live by faith. You right. see? And that's how righteousness comes because you're going to be just through the spirit of Yahweh Shimei Shai. You're going to have faith and you're going to do what a prophet would be doing. And that's warning the people. That's right. That's right. Okay? Whether they hear or whether they forbear, you're going to warn them of uh, things that you see. The things that you see through the spirit, man. That's what the prophets are doing, man. From the apostles and all the men that the Lord set up. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, you got some Jake out there that they, 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 they any little thing they see in you, they're going to write you off, man. But that's okay. That's all right, man. You got it, brother. You know, also, too, when you go back into that, too, you know, the, those that are, just, those others, those two thirds, Zechariah 13, 8, two thirds of Israel going to be destroyed. And and you know what? And, and that's that, that's spiritual, bro. That's spiritual. You said that, and, and that's heavy, bro. Because, you know, the elect are going to get in line. They're going to hear, they're going to perceive them and be like, you know what, I'm going to quit my bullshit and I'm, I'm going to follow, I'm going to follow suit. I'm going to follow in line. You see what I'm saying? They ain't going to be, you know what I'm saying, the, the Wi-Fi bullshit. They ain't going to be the, the Sakaris and all that. They, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's very heavy that you said that, man. It's time, it's time to fall in line more than ever, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, I remember the apostles saying that, but it ain't going to be GM, man. It ain't going to be camps. It's going to be those that are of the elect and those, those that aren't at that day. Read them down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it says, uh, this is first, uh, Second Thessalonians one, and uh, and and seven. It says, and to you who are troubled, rest with us, when the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with His mighty angels. Man, so this is where you're gonna find rest. Okay. Uh, and comfort is is within these scriptures, within this this knowledge. Okay. That that the Lord has given us. That's why the Spirit's known as the Comforter, right? Mm -hmm. God. I'm going to keep reading down. Uh, it says, In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them. Now, now here's, the, here's the thing. Like, whether you don't know the Lord or whether you heard the word of the Lord and then you refuse it, hey, all of those are going to be punished, man. So it says, In, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, man. So both are going to receive judgment, okay? Whether you don't know the Lord, okay? Or you think just because you put your head down and walk past the prophets, okay, that you're going to receive some kind of uh, some, some kind of mercy? Hey, that's not going to be the case, man. The hey, Most High's not looking for cheerleaders, man. Nope. nope. Nope, a lot of you guys, you know, you come by and you shalom out the window and then you're going about your day, man. Yep. But, hey, th th this isn't just some 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 fad or something that you're seeing with men out there on the highways and byways that's pushing this truth, man. You know, this is Yahabashim Yahab Shai extending his, his hand, okay, to, to pull you out of the yep. fire, okay? So it says, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord, and from the glory of his power all right and um and then i got i got one more real quick if i may you know just because this is uh you know th hey this is the spirit that the, the the true men of the lord are in man it says uh psalms 40 and 9 it says i have preached righteousness in the, co the great congregation 